monsoon 2024, even though we're not getting a lot of rain right now, it is well underway, but about a month left in our season. So we could see some big storms still popping up. So this morning, meteorologist Lauren Rainson shows us where all that heavy rainfall goes once it hits the ground. The greater Phoenix area is known as the Valley of the Sun for a reason. But when it does rain, where does the water go? The water that hits the ground from a storm event ends up being untreated and discharging in a place like here, which is one of our city of Phoenix outfalls. There are 760 outfalls just like this in the city of Phoenix alone. 80 of those are along the Salt River. If you think of a new subdivision, they'll have a you know, a green area that's a low depression. So most of the storm water from that neighborhood will drain into that basin. And then eventually it'll either percolate into the ground or it may drain eventually into the city. But not all the storm water makes it into the ground or the city. As you increase citification, as you increase urbanization, you will get additional runoff. Hydrologist Mike Schaffner explains that this is natural. You decrease the amount of dirt and grass and natural spaces and you may also have decreased the amount of vegetation and that type of element, natural element as well. Even when rain hasn't fallen in months, don't be surprised to see water flowing through a city outfall. Right now what you're seeing is just excess irrigation water from SRP. But during a storm, several hundred thousand gallons of water will flow through right here. These outfalls work the hardest during a typical monsoon where much of the storm water eventually goes. Lauren Rainson for 12 News.